Hey guys, 3D Hero here, and welcome to another Time for Two Loadout video, where I bring new loadouts to try every once a week. Today's loadout is going to focus on a character that we haven't seen or heard from for quite a while in Time for One, nor have we actually ever seen him in action until now. Today's loadout will be based around Bish, the combat specialist guru from Time for One. Now, for a bit of lore based around him, Bish was born on Earth and used to work with the IMC as an electrical engineer. However, after an issue occurred with him and the IMC, leading up to him being left on the frontier on his own with no way back home, he ended up working for the militia as a combat specialist operative, as a way to help the militia's cause and also get back at the IMC for what they did to him. In Time for One, we see him in action with passing important information to pilots to help them with their general objective, while also being known to hack their objectives to find out what the IMC are up to and just get as much detail and information to provide back to his group. And you see a lot of this based on some of the gameplay and cutscenes you see back in the old Type for One trailers and um, gameplay. But in Type for Two case, we don't actually know where he is, nor do we know what he's currently doing. As usually he's with Sir Briggs on most missions, but in Type for Two case, we don't actually see or hear from him at all, which could lead to many reasons as to what may have happened to him. But personally, I believe he's probably working in high command, gathering intelligence from the militia. I highly doubt they even killed him off screen because that doesn't fit right for respawn. But anyways, the loadout will be focusing on two of Bishop's most favorite weapons, the Wingman and the Wingman Elite, and trying to do good with them, even though I can already tell you this was a pretty rough build to play with. But you, in this case here, you may actually do much better than I do. So, the class will be the AWOL, as to me it fits the theme of an engineer very well for Bish, and you can use your AWOL for helping support your teammates, if you want to. Your primary will be the Wingman Elite, and your secondary the normal Wingman. Now you do find using the Wingman Elite, as it's one of his weapons that can allow you to take on multiple people from all ranges. But the normal Wingman, the one to this very day hasn't been buffed for some odd reason, may be your downfall in most fights, because the weapon is just terrible, and it can barely kill a normal pilot. Even It can't, it barely even kills a grunt, that's how bad the weapon is. So if you're going to try this out, I suggest you prepare yourself. Really, I really mean just prepare yourself. Your anti titan weapon will be the charge rifle, to fit in for the old Time for One kind of setup that most Time for One pilots used to use. Your ordnance will be either the frag grenades or the arc grenades, depending on whether you want to use the loadout in PvP or just attrition. Your boost can be either the tip mines for helping scout out rooms and areas, or pilot sentry to lock down areas for control, or push the enemy team back for your crew to gain some breathing room. Your titan will be the monarch with a supporter setup consisting of energy transfer, rearm reload, and multi target missile system with your Titan kit being overcaught for a nice start in core energy. Lastly, your pilot kit will be fast regen and Titan hunter, so you can survive much longer against everyone while also speeding up your Titan build time if we destroy or damage an enemy Titan. Now in terms of playing this loadout in PvP and attrition, it has taught me a few things to look into, in terms of my skill and general engagements where I'm using two pistols and where I shouldn't push up so far and tackle players in 1v1 fights. It as currently, I'm at a major disadvantage using two pistols. Instead, sticking with your team and being that player that spots and finishes up weakened players, and also supporting them through using your AWOL works a lot more better for me. Even though it may sound a bit cheap for most people, this is kind of what you would have to go with, because personally you can't really go commando with whatever you have. But this is also kind of what I would expect Bish to be like if he was in a fight, as he's not the type of person to go commando against a squad of IMC troops, as he's definitely more focused on being a recon and supportive player. So this is how you can go ahead and play that role as well. Also, I've also integrated Monarch in the build as well, as he's great for customising and fully building a supportive role that really does make a change against other players, as you can give your shields to your teammates, which can go a long way, especially if you've got like a Ronin on your team, who for example may be at full health, but doesn't have a battery to give him extra shields. You can give him some more extra shields, and then he can go into the fray do some damage or a lot of damage, and then by the time he dies, the enemy team try to fight back, they'll be low on health. So in many ways you kind of did your role as a supportive player. And you can also provide them some more with some rocket support with your multi lock with your multi rocket lock on support system for Monarch. So if you want to, while Ronin is going in and doing some damage, you can also support him by locking onto them and throwing some rockets at them, to which Ronin may be able to maybe finish them off by yourself, or just do enough decent damage so that your other friendlies can come in and finish them off. In many ways, the way you look at it, as long as you're doing your part for your team, that's generally it, you can support them as best as possible. 
Now the only downside to this loadout I found is that killing most players might be hard since you're using a sniper pistol against fast moving players. Well, depending on the player, if they're the type of player that likes to move fast. Which means you need to shoot ahead of your target to get a kill against them. Which might be hard for some players to achieve. Also, we have the normal wingman which is just a terrible weapon to use against generally everyone. Even the grunts like I said previously. So if you really want to, you can go ahead and change to something like the P2016 or RB45. But you just have to remember that you have to use the wingman at least in your main primary or your secondary. You cannot go ahead and use any other weapon. It has to be at least the wingman elite in your main primary or just a normal wingman in your secondary. If you're a masochist and you enjoy these kind of stuff, then by all means go with both. Because honestly, I kind of cried at the end by using this. Now this isn't a build where you can go positive. But generally it is a build where you can try out a dualist supportive build that many of you may be looking for in Titanfall 2. So get out there and give this baby a go. And just remember guys, remember to have fun while playing this. So that is the end of my video, I do hope you enjoyed it. If you did then by means leave a like, a comment and subscribe for more. If you didn't then by means leave a dislike, I understand, I'll look back over the video and look back over your comments and see what I need to prove on in the nearby future. Once again guys, thank you for watching and I do hope to see you again soon.